Hello everyone, my name is Anissa Sasalbia and here I want to share about my presentation uh, but before that, I want to introduce myself. My name is Anissa Sasalbia and my student number is 1961019 and from from where my study program? Uh, well, I am from English Language Education, batch 2019 uh, and I will start my presentation in a moment but before that, I want to say that uh, what kind of topic that I choose. So, I choose the topics of Kahru work English use theory. For my, for my presentation, uh, my title of the essay or my article is Defining the status, the purpose, and the function of Brach Kahru three circles theory. So, there is two theories that was backgrounding and piqued my interest to research more about this topic. The first theory that really are piqued my interest of this theory is because the theory that Karu, that Karu broke up with is, uh, can be defined uh, to a country history. That we know that there is three circles in Karu uh, theory, right? There is inner circle, there is expanding circle, and outer circle. The three theories we know that they have their own definitions of what is inner circle, what is outer circle, and what is expanding circle, and what countries are uh, were, are filled in inner circle, outer circle, and expanding circle. And you know what? The definitions really are lead us up to the history of them. How can that be? Since you will know it, this country is an inner circle. Like for example, for the inner circle country, there is America, Britain, and New Zealand, and other, and etc. Uh, in the second uh, circle, there is other circle, which is like Asia continent, Africa continent, and then the last one is expanding circle, which is, uh, which is Indonesia, Singapore, and other, other continents. And why I said that this theory of Kahru can define a country history, since, you know what, when you know the definitions about the other circle and the other reason is where there is other function that can be used for the theory what kind of theory uh, what kind of function maybe some of you will ask like that so it's the same like what i wrote in my title uh, so this theory can define a function this uh, the function the status and the purpose of english in some country and with this, we know that this is something like the discrete function, or it is already, it is, uh, it is what Kahru wants to bring up with. But this function is already one, it's the same like one of the key to know the strength and the weakness, which we know from the, la uh, from the last meeting that we have with, with Serpendi, that, uh, that a country to survive a, uh, not a country, a country and a language, if they want to survive, they need power. And here, this is, this is the same like, uh, this topic is the same like how to search the power from a small topic or the small ideas that really are not everyone want to define of. Why? I will tell you in the next, and next, and next slide. <laughs> so, this is the concentric circles of English. English is more likely. The one that I just say there is inner circle, outer circle, and the last one is uh, the expanding circle. Move to the next slide. In this slide, that I want to show you that there is the status, purpose, and function of Indonesia, expanding circle uh, as an expanding circle, and uh, America as the inner circle. So over here, I want to say that this is how I say that it can define a country uh, status, purpose, and function. How it, How is it like this? So the status of the Indonesia is as the expanding circle, while uh, the America people as the inner circle, and the purpose of the Indonesia is for communication only, not as a daily use, since their daily, la their daily language is native, uh, their native language is Bahasa. And America people use the English as their daily use, and the function of the English, the and the function of the Indonesia, uh, the function of the language, uh, the English language in Indonesian perspectives is for English as the second language, while in America it is used as the English 
as their native language. Continuing, there is the strength, the weakness, and the conclusion. So, uh, for once again, I want to say that this is my own opinion. If there is any other people's opinion, uh, please don't fight over it since uh, this is my opinion and how I define it. Uh, so, the strength, uh, the strength that Indonesian people have is the strength that the Indonesian people have is that they are not native speaker. And they start uh, since they are not native speaker, they start to promote their self. They start to promote them uh, their language, which is I will continue of uh, the continue about example after this. And while the strength of the American people is they use the language, the nativeness. Uh, every day so the weakness for the uh, the weakness of the inner circle part is they are less motivated to learn to, uh, their own history and language since they use this language as a daily use they uh, they use this language to talk often and every day and it's already become uh, their common like their common use common common life things and they will start to get bored uh, while Indonesian people, uh, they surely use, uh, they sh they surely use their native uh, as their uh, common language. Uh, but this, uh, in this part, I want to say that we are talking about the in Indonesian people that the, uh, that are, uh, that Indonesian people are not always using English. And this, the weakness that Indonesian people have is they didn't focus on promoting, uh, which is really are the weakness. If they promote more, maybe it will be more, uh, more spectacular. And I will continue about the strength of the Indonesia people. For example, uh, the the one that I want to make an example about. Uh, for example, uh, it will be great if uh, the inner circle will use the uh, English as their native speaker. Uh, more likely, like promote their themselves uh, from culture way and environmentally, since we already know that we know that uh, for example, London have a nice vibes, and that was one of the reason why people want to go over there. But I think there is more to more to London than their vibes only. There is more like culture things. There is more like environmentally things in Britain, uh, in in United Kingdom and in America. And I think that it can be more developed, and it can be the power, and the English will survive in the future. And why this is the strength of Indonesian people? Since there is a lot of tourists, uh, tourists that really are uh, really curious about Indonesia and they came to Indonesia to know uh, about the Indonesia and uh, all the Indonesia people uh, will will just uh, will give them will promote themselves their bahasa their culture and their environmental to the tourists and this is why I make the conclusion of if they tried more on focusing to use their own language th that's why there I put the conclusion is about uh, in Indonesia, if they try more on focusing to use their own language as their native, as their native like China or Japan uh, or Japan, they can have the chance to conquer the global language title. Uh, to intro, uh, while uh, the conclusion is for American people, uh, for for the inner circle, uh, inner circle countries, it will be better if, to introduce to uh, their culture side or effort environmental to promote their own country. More specifically, since uh, I think there is more of it, uh, I think there is more of it that can be the power and uh, and make the English to survive their, uh, themselves. And with this, I will end my presentation with a conclusion, which is uh, this topic might be really are uh, bland. It's really are uh, boring. It's really are uh, monochromatic. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's more like these topics really are not. Uh, pick a lot of interest for some peoples because this uh, this is more like historic uh, historic things to to talk about and there's a lot of theory about this and I think if this uh, theory of Kahu uh, Kahu Kahu uh, are more developed since I trust that this topic can be one of the key to know the power and weakness I saw this topic not only can define the uh, not only define the historical part of the English, but it can be uh, classificate the uh, the English for the future. Uh, for, exa for example, like the status that I just said before, the status, the purpose, and the functions. And with this, I will pause my presentation. And thank you for listening. 
stay healthy and see you at the next video. Bye-bye!